and over to another live moment now from St. Louis, Missouri, Ari Obenson. Uh, he was born in uh, Cameroon, a lawyer who was admitted to the Cameroon Bar Association in 1999. Ari is a former Secretary General of Junior Chamber International, JCI, a global non-profit organization spanning over 120 countries, providing development opportunities that empower young people to create positive change. Ari is currently the CEO and President of the International Institute of St. Louis, which seeks to, and I quote, build a more connective, connected and uh, productive society to benefit immigrants, their families and the wider community. Yes, we are here at the International Institute of St. Louis um, and uh, in, the, in the nation's hall. Um, and this, this venue is historic in the sense that for over 100 years it has been providing opportunities first as a high school for providing education for immigrant girls and now it's housing this 100 year old organization that works towards building an inclusive society here in St. Louis. Uh, great, great to hear uh, and Ari obviously today is a very special day. How are you and the International Institute of St. Louis marking Anti-Racism Day? Yeah, we, we decided to mark this day by bringing together non-traditional actors, members of the civil society, to talk about our responsibility towards working, towards working towards building an inclusive society. And so we have a group of very dynamic young people here who, as you know, St. Louis has been, was known about five years ago for an unfortunate incident that happened here in St. Louis. But since then, we've been working towards an inclusive society. So our work is more than just the International Institute. It is the wider community. And so I have here with me, and I'm going to step out and allow three young people tell you what they have observed that's working towards inclusion. And at the end, we're going to work, uh, begin a movement here of citizens working towards building an inclusive society. So I will step out here for a moment and just when you're coming. Hello. Um, since, since the five years of Ferguson, our city of St. Louis and the region as a whole has been building capacity to help break the chains of systematic oppression, regardless if it's from economic development to human development. We have been building equitable decisions and choices together. Black, brown, and white allies have been coming together since Ferguson to help create the type of change that we wish to see. Hello, uh, since Ferguson, as uh, my colleague here stated, we have been working as a community on increased awareness of the issues that are created for the entire society when there isn't justice and equity for all. The brown and black communities that we serve, that we work with, that are our neighbors and our friends, deserve equity. And we have seen with COVID-19 the disastrous impact of not having equity for all, where those that are most marginalized are most impacted, and that impact carries to the entire community. Since Ferguson, we have built up the area. We have Boys and Girls Clubs. We have an Urban League Center. As a resident of a neighboring community and a homeowner, I am committed to working with the residents and keeping the voices of other residents to make the city greater than it has ever been. So that's what we have been doing um, in St. Louis in the last five years. But today we're working with this group of, of, of young people, citizens of our community, to talk about our role, our responsibility um, towards working to build an inclusive society. <laughs> 